Let's look at the song of Moses in Deuteronomy 32 and see who Moses thought was God. For I will proclaim the name of Yahweh and ascribe greatness to our Elohim. Here Moses said Yahweh was his Elohim. Elohim is a plural word, but it is used in a singular sense. In the next verse, Moses called God the rock. And he said, his works are perfect, his ways are justice, and he is the El of faithfulness. Is this how you repay Yahweh, you foolish people? He is your father who bought you and made you and established you. When Elion divided the nation, Israel was Yahweh's portion. Elion is not another god. It is just a title for the same god that has already been described as Yahweh, Elohim, the rock, and El. And Yahweh alone cared for Israel. There was no other El with him, including El Elyon. Then Israel forsook Eloha, who made them, and lightly esteemed the rock of their salvation. So the Song of Moses calls God Yahweh, Elohim, Rock, El, Father, Elyon, and Eloha. So Israel moved him, the one true God, to jealousy when they sacrificed to demons instead of Eloha, to gods which were not Elohim. They forgot the rock that created them and the El that formed them. The rock and the El is just two titles for the same God. When Yahweh saw it, he abhorred it and said, They replaced me with false El, so I will replace them with foolish nations. And when two people chase away ten thousand people, then they will know that Yahweh did it. And Yahweh will say, Where are your false Elohim now? And Yahweh says, I, even I, am he. There is no Elohim with me. I blank and make alive. I wound and I heal. No one can deliver out of my hand. And Jesus testified that Yahweh was his father in John 10, 29, when he said, My father is greater than all, and no one can deliver out of my father's hand.